and trim some pots. The first thing we want to do is cut it off the board that it's been sitting on while it's been drying. You want the bottom to be easy to trim, but you want the edges to be firm enough so that when you turn it upside down, it will not lose its shape. So I like to use a foam board, a foam covered board, and the circles are made by spinning it while you write on it with a magic marker. And then you, you can use those circles that are on the board to center. You want it as centered as possible. So I'm going to choose a tool. I like to use a tool that has a couple different ends. This one has a flat end as well as a curved end. Um, I also like when I begin, I use a larger tool because you're going to be taking off a lot of clay. So to start with, uh, whenever you use foam, you're going to use one hand to hold it steady on the foam. Um, when you first start, you look to see if it's centered and you adjust as necessary. Okay, so I'm ready to start. I sometimes go ahead and wet the bottom because when you wet the bottom, then you are more likely to be able to take the excess clay off easily. So, you need to be careful not to press too hard. This one, I let dry way too long. Normally you can do your trimming about two or three days after you make your pot. I um, covered them and I left them probably about a week, which makes it more difficult to trim. So I'm gonna go slowly because if I go too fast, then I can uh, really go right through the bottom of the pot. smaller tool now. I'm going to start from the center and I'm going to slowly work myself way out. As you get better at it, you'll know how much clay you should take off and it really depends on how much clay you left on the bottom of your pot when you were making your pot. center of the bottom should be lower than the edges. 